Speaker, I rise to uh, support H.R. 6615, the Traumatic Brain Injury Program Reauthorization Act of 2018. And I also would like to thank Chairman Walden, Ranking Member Pallone, for the work to move this important legislation forward. I'm grateful to House leadership for bringing this for a vote. I want to associate myself with the words of Mr. Burgess and Mr. Green. I commend Congressman Green and Burgess for their steadfast work to improve our nation's health landscape over the past several decades, and especially during his tenure in the Energy and Commerce Health Subcommittee, Mr. Green. How time flies. I would also like to give a special thanks to my colleague, Tom Rooney, who sponsored this legislation with me. Congressman Rooney has been a great partner as my co-chair of the Congressional Traumatic Brain Injury Task Force. Over 20 years ago, Mr. Mr. Speaker, we put that together on a bipartisan basis, and it's still going, and it's still very, very active. I want to thank you for all you have done for America's living with brain injuries during this time in, in his time in Congress. I'm glad to see this body come together in a bipartisan manner to support the work being done in our federal agencies and across the country to expand research, the prevention, and the treatment of traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury knows no bounds. It affects people of all backgrounds in every zip code, and we are only at the precipice of understanding how prevalent that is. The passage of this legislation will fulfill a very critical obligation of Americans living with brain injuries, including our service members, our athletes, our children. This reauthorization is especially important because it includes for the first time, funding for the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention to determine how many Americans have sustained a brain injury. This will give us critical insight into the problem. Dubbed the signature injury of service members returning from Iraq and Afghanistan, TBIs continue to occur on the battlefield. TBI happens too much on the sports field as well and we are working diligently to address this. We have come a long way to improve safety, screening, and rehab since we first talked about TBI two decades ago. But much more must be done. This legislation makes the right investments in our federal and state TBI initiatives, provides those living with brain injuries the supports that they need. And when we're supporting the brain injured, we're also supporting their family. It includes critical increases in funding and modernizing how the government oversees TBI. Our legislation is endorsed by the Brain Injury Association of America, the National Association of State Head Injury Administrators, and the American Academy of Neurology. I look forward to working with Congressman Rooney, the membership of the Congressional TBI Task Force, as well as Senators Casey and Hatch, to send this legislation swiftly to the President's desk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the remainder of my time.